Okay, so now we have Ephesians 6, 10 through 13. Hopefully this will give you some kind of, um, some strength. We already know to focus on God, not, you know, people in our lives that are, we put on pedestals and we call them stars or people to look up to because they're falling short because they're not what you think, okay? Some people are put there in their lives to make you follow and make you do wrong so that you fail and you don't even know where you failed, okay? But all you have to do is kind of look at the background, okay? Look at the background. Do a freaking exorcism because you have no clue what's out there. <coughs> and Carlos Oliveira's, um, I'll put a link below. That will help you, you know, get good with God and help you out of being trapped. Okay, these are some of the traps that will help you release, be released by these prayers and by this Ephesians 6, 10 through 12. It will help you, okay? Last of all, I want to remind you that your strength must come from the Lord's mighty power within you. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand safe against all the strategies and tricks of Satan. For we are not fighting against people made of flesh and blood, but against persons without bodies, the evil rulers of the unseen world, and those mighty satanic beings and great evil princes of darkness who rule this world, and against huge numbers of wicked spirits in the spirit world. This is going to help you. Okay, just remember Ephesians 6. 10 through 13. So use every piece of God's armor to resist the enemy whenever he attacks. And when it is all over, you will be standing up. Okay?